Oh, this is one of my most favorite cuts. Of course, you always cut both ends of the carrot off. This is called a roll cut. This is great for um, stews, mm, uh, roasting vegetables, grilling vegetables. You go on the diagonal where your knife is coming right at the end of the, the carrot that's closest to you on a diagonal and then you come right back up to the top here of this cut. Diagonal, come straight across. Diagonal, straight across. So look at that, it is so beautiful. And you should be able to turn each of these and they would be able to stand up and that means that you, you know, made a nice roll cut. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these. Okay, then there's what's called a half moon and a quarter moon. And let's see, cut the carrot in half because it's long. A half moon simply would be, you would cut right down the middle so you would have each half pretty much be the same and you determine how thick do you want it from a fourth inch, say to a half inch. We'll do half inches. This would be great in a stew, casserole, um, it's almost like a large dice, but not quite. And as you can see, that's a half moon, right? Think of the moon in the sky, half moon. And then if I wanted to do a quarter moon, after I went down the middle, now I would roll it over and I would go down the middle again. And I would come back with the same idea, and this is called a quarter moon. And there you have that. Half quarter, right? Half quarters. You can see that. It's perfect. Oop, that's a half. And there's a quarter. And then last but not least, of course, is a dice cut, which would be common in um, soups, salads maybe, and here, very similar to the um, quarter cut, and my dice is going to be Now, we have another cut here. This is a cut. This is very much a thin diagonal cut. It's great for stir frying, sometimes maybe a little thicker. I might do this for a roasted vegetable, but this is a pretty cut as well. 